Hello Libra, it's Arena, your tarot life coach, bringing you your October 2024 reads. Yes, and my eyes are like burning. I'm cutting up um, vegetables to make a like a green chili soup right now, and they're roasting, and my eyes like burning. The poblanos, I think, got to me, so I'm not crying. I'm just like trying to make it through because it's a little picadoso right now it's it's like itchy and burning and I probably and I had gloves but it was like a bunch of peppers anyways I hope you're doing super fantabulous with that happy birthday it's your season you look amazing all right the way these readings go is we're gonna go into a general we're gonna look really quickly at that we're gonna go to singles couples and then all signs everything will be time stamped remember this is just a tarot reading you have all the power and all the energy to make your own decisions this is just guidance but if you love tarot you like to have a good time then you need to come hang out with me on Tuesdays from 5 30 to 6 30 p.m. Central Standard Time on Instagram. We go live, we have fun, it's happy hour, and one question 11 11 or in depth reading 22 22. I'm also going to be at the end of this video, we'll show the readings that you can order from me all through my link tree. I will never contact you first. Oh, okay. With that being said, if you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. Let's get into it. All right, October 2nd, new moon solar eclipse in your sign, baby. Are you ready for this? Because it's all about a transformation, baby. You are about to show everybody and everything what the hell is going on, all right? Now, October 9th, we have Jupiter retrograde in the sign of Gemini, 21 degrees. Jupiter is going to be coming back and saying, what's up, Gemini? Let's get it started, all right? And then on the 11th, Pluto goes direct, 29 degrees, Capricorn. 29 is a very important degree. This is it, like people born with a 29th degree in their chart usually feel very rushed to complete things. But this is about major transformations, guys. Pluto is about to like put everybody and everything on blast with Eclipse Energy. Sit back, grab the popcorn, and stay your ass out of trouble, all right? Now, on the 13th, we have Mercury entering into Scorpio. We are going to be discussing and talking about things about transformation, all right? Now, on the 17th, we have the full moon in Aries, 24 degrees, and also with that, the Venus is entering into Sagittarius. It's going to get fun and exciting, and you are focusing on trust. This um, full moon is making you really think about who can you trust, who can I run to, right? Who can you rely on? What's going on here? And then on the 22nd, it's Scorpio season. Call up that good looking Scorpio and let's go have a good time. All right. So let's jump into your read. Astrologically from the Astro deck, you have the 12th house, introspection. The 12th house is very interesting. This is looking at a lot of endings. This is also looking at some losses. Your dreams could be very important right now. Your subconscious, this could be dealing a lot with hospitals. Things that are hidden, like hidden things are going to be coming to the light for you. Now, your animal energy is the Elefante, baby. All right. Now, this energy is very beautiful. It says, open yourself up to true abundance. The elephant always makes me think about strong Ganesh energy, abundance, beauty, but also feeling the vibrations of what's coming through. Oh my God, the soup smells so good already. Oh my goodness, this smells so good. Anyways, the thing about the, the elephant, he has really big ears. So you think he would hear things quicker, but no, he feels the vibration in his feet. You're going to be able to read the room quicker than anybody else, all right? Now, when it comes to love, you're dealing with resources this month and finding out that you have everything you needed to move forward. There's also a lot about psychic communication. You're really going to be like in your intuitive mode. A lot of downloads are going to be coming through. You could even be talking about going and getting a certification, going for furthering your education also. Overall, when it comes to love, you got it again, baby. The elephants are coming through by the book. Do everything by the book. Do not change things up for anyone or anything. You are going to follow your rules in love. You're going to stick by your guns and you're not going to let anybody convince you to do anything else. All right. And to all my special Libras celebrating a birthday, Keona, Athena, I love you so much. And I hope you have a beautiful birthday. I hope that I get to um, talk to you soon. Now, by the book is also like, I feel like with this picture, it's about you really growing in the relationship, really developing into something very beautiful. All right. Right. Lucky days for you. I'm going to say the 2nd, the 3rd, the 5th, the 11th. Oh my God, it smells so good. And I want to say the 23rd. Okay, 
Let's get going. Let's see what's going on in love for you. All right, we're going to go into our oracle reading. Let's see here. What do we have going on in love for you? Someone else. This is a general reading. Okay, someone else is not necessarily always mean someone is a cheetah. Okay, but there's this energy coming through, this energy of maybe someone getting in the middle of y'all's relationship. It could be a family member. It could be a co-worker. And it's like a sudden change. You're going to recognize it. You're not going to like it. Okay, and she says, not today, boo. Okay, we're not playing that game. We're not doing doing that okay not today and someone could be having some financial issues okay pay attention to your account because it's right by the book and I feel like that's important pay attention to your account so there's a lot of options that you could be having when it comes to love you might feel like you're getting strung along Libra we don't want that relationship if we're getting strung along and that's why it's important to go by your rules okay and some of us could be dealing with long distance love or feeling very distant from our lover. We should be giving it time so it can grow and develop and move in the right direction, whatever direction that is, right? Now, the distance is getting the reminiscing. Um, we kind of miss the way things used to be. We want things to go back to that. So keep that in mind as we go through this read. Now, remember, this is a general reading. Keep the parts that work for you and leave the parts for someone else. Oh my gosh, this is, smells so, so good. All right, let's see. Here we have the Six of Swords in the past. This is you like saying, uh, not today. <laughs> We're moving forward. The Six of Cups. Moving on from something in the past. And this could be like a past behavior, a past situation. Um, even like moving on from something that's getting in the way of where you really want to be. We're trying to find our balance moving forward with the two of pentacles. Like we've drawn the line in the sand and we're like, no, not today. Um, and I do want to say like there are some, I want to say there is interference. We have some interference in the game, okay? That football season's here. We have something getting in the way of what it is that you really want. And you're going to be making some really quick decisions. All right, Libra? But it's going to be important to move a little take it easy, okay? A little take it easy. Especially if there's drinking going on, especially if it's something that has been like a lingering issue because when eclipse season comes in, it brings everything from the past out to the forefront, right? Things that need to be revealed or talked about, okay? So the Six of Cups is the King of Swords. I think you're about to put like a stop to something. Like you're like, look, I'm good. I'm, I'm good on this, whether this is with a friend, with a lover, family member, what does it say? Stop texting, stop talk, stalking, stop checking on that person, person just effing stop. Spend your time on someone worth it and don't waste your time with that ridiculousness. And that's why you're at the Two of Pentacles this month. You're finding your balance, you're moving forward, and you're setting yourself free from the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is very significant to like possibly being involved with a, um, with a karmic. You know, with someone who has a lot of karma tied up with you. But you're finding your balance. You're moving forward. And the Eight of Swords by the devil, like, stop getting entangled in stuff that does not work. Okay, Libra? Like, it says, it's not everyone else's fault. Okay? You got a little part in it, Libra. Just a little bit. And the devil with the Four of Swords. We've got to heal from the past. We've got to move forward. The Knight of Wands with the Knight of Swords. Some of y'all are dealing with someone who says, I don't want to be in a relationship. And they do. And someone who's saying, I want to be in a relationship. And they don't, but they don't want you in another relationship, okay? Temperance overall is the lovers. You're looking for something that is going to grow with time. It's going to grow. It's going to develop. And I feel like you might have someone who's trying to rush you into something. Choose wisely and take your time, all right? Um, we are going to get into the singles, but I'm going to press pause because I don't want to burn my food. I don't want to burn it. Okay, this is for the singles. I had to like move the vegetables around. It smells. I wish I wish we had smell a vision because if we did, you would be like, holy, this smells so divine. It smells so good. I can't wait to make it. Okay, let's see here. We have cycles for our singles, like a lot of karma playing in. There's big endings. I do think this eclipse is going to really bring some things to the forefront for you. Ah, oh, so thirsty. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Fire signs. You could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sag. And we need to go on a vacation, friend. We need to go somewhere. All right? And then water sign over here. So maybe you have a lot of fire and water in your chart. Or you could be dealing with these individuals. All right? But there are some cycles. There are some things changing. Things are moving around for you. The number 11 could be very important for you. 
So let's see what these cycles are about, singles. Let's see, let's see. We have uh, somebody is stalking and watching, okay? So it could be someone that you ended something with, a very, like, like a situation, and now they're, like, being super nosy. Like, what is Libra up to? Oh, Libra look good. Yeah, Libra always looks good. And get back out there with a fire sign. Go on a date. Have fun. Get on that online dating if that's what you're into. And yes, it's time for a vacation. You need to get some self-indulgence and go have a good time. And some of us could be healing from a heartbreak with a water sign. All right. But we're moving forward. We're moving on. And we're going to have a good time. Okay. So let's see what the cards say for you. Let's see what we got going on. Remember, this is a general tarot read. If you're interested in a personal reading, you know where to find me. All right. Woo! First one out the gate. We got the seven of wands. We're really protecting our energy. She is moving forward, but she's not letting everybody come in. You can look, but you can't touch. All right. Because we're only in it for love. The two of cups. This is very significant. You've been really protecting yourself, working on yourself, developing, and you're ready for it. But there is some conflict coming in. Okay. We'll see what that's about. We are releasing self-doubt. You could also be really seeing the number 555. Let me write Libra 555. 555. And you're stopping the judgment of yourself. You are really focused on you, your self-worth, your development. And you know you are the damn a dirty complete package. I love it. I love this for you. Very, very beautiful energy. This energy of the seven of the seven of wands. <coughs> I always feel like maybe you maybe like everyone's like really trying to hook up with you right now. It is your birthday season. You look really good. You're you're you know like you're shining bright, but you're like, look, no, I don't even want this in my life right now. Like I'm just trying to have a good time, right? Just trying to have a good time and be me. So the seven of wands wants you to know, go for it. I'm just a fool for you, all right? Go for it, let's have a good time. The Eight of Wands, it's time to start talking to other people, putting yourself back out there, getting out there, singles, because love is on the horizon with the Two of Cups, and we have the higher fit energy coming in. So I do feel like you're looking for a very big change in relationship status. We got the 555 five, five here. There could have been a conflict with someone. That, that's why we're heartbroken. Maybe we didn't want the same things. And so you had to let that go. You're like, no, nope, you know what? I'm out. Bye. Five of Wands wants you to know the Ace of Pentacles. You're conflicted about releasing something, but you know that it's time. Oh, it's time to do that. Okay? Because... When you're supposed to be enjoying yourself, there is that lingering energy. The Eight of Swords is that karmic energy that wants to come back. And you kind of like, you get conflicted because you're like, it could have been so easy. It could have been so good. But it wasn't. And it's time to move forward. Five of Swords with the Six of Wands. You better go on that trip. You better move forward. It's going to be okay. You're going to be building with something new with the Seven of Pentacles. And this is where you make that major decision. You make this major decision to set yourself free. On the chariot, you know, you're going to move forward. You're going to go. You're going to do this. I do think some of y'all are taking a major trip. I think maybe you're supposed to go on this trip with somebody. Or you guys have planned or talked about this trip. But now you're going to take it by yourself. And then there's the hangman. Um, you're gonna, you're gonna give in to what the universe is telling you. Three majors, four majors at the end. And then I have the emperor staring at you. So I do think with that ten of pentacles and the emperor energy, what you're leaving behind is that player mentality. Like this person that was trying to keep you on a string and string you along. And yeah, I want the same thing as you. But they don't, okay? They didn't. They just wanted you, baby, to keep doing what you do. Because you do it so good. Okay, but you have a lot of majors here. Look. We have the Hierophant. We have the Hangman, the Chariot, the Judgment, and the Emperor. So this is telling me that you are in complete control of your destiny. You have got to start moving forward and moving on from things that no longer serve you, Libra, because <coughs> they can watch your stories all they want. They can keep trying to make dates and never show up and keep stringing you along and feeding you what you want to hear, but their actions aren't going there. And it's time to 
the ace of pentacles it's just time to invest in something new it's time for something that is you you have the opportunity with the hierophant and the two of cups the fool i missed the fool so you had six cards you have the fool the hierophant and the ace of pentacles right there with the two of cups go take a chance and go after the romance that you want need and desire and release the past so that you can move forward it's a very beautiful reading um I don't feel like the person in the past or the person you kind of had your hopes up on high because they keep watching you. They keep, you know, they keep doing just enough to keep you hanging on. And, and what you're waiting for is for them to become who you want them to be. When you have someone who's got their eye on you, okay? Very strong Aries energy right there with that um, emperor. All right, let's see here. What do we got? What is this? persons from the past thinking about they're daydreaming about you that's why you feel their energy they do long for your forgiveness and they would like a reunion yeah because um they have issues with being detached you know what would they say to our beautiful libra you're always on my mind with the daydreaming i want a future with you please forgive me and i regret what i did to you um <clears throat> and I've been working on myself but you know again you have to make that major decision do they fit in your playbook is this what you want need and desire are we going to keep allowing the same mistakes over and over or are we going to move forward with someone that wants what we want is looking for what we're looking for and we're not having to convince them about what what's what's in front of them you know so let's see who's coming in new for you who's coming in new for our beautiful singles who is this beautiful energy coming in? Who is that emperor or empress that has their eye on them? How do they look? We have the dogs. So we have brown hair, big tongue, Ew. okay, large, nice tongue. This could even be a friend of yours, okay? A friend who wants to come through. The 18th could be important. Um, what else am I missing? Brown hair, prominent tongue, Aquarius energy. We have feminine energy. You can meet them through a, a girlfriend. Okay, you can meet them through a girlfriend. Taurus energy is coming through. We have petite features. We have someone with Libra energy. And then we have the tree. Okay, and then the tree is green eyes, healthy, tall, and Capricorn energy. Um, so I do feel like you can meet this person through a friend. They're very nervous to meet you. They could get very anxious around you. There's something about their voice that when you hear it, you're going to be like, oh, I like it. <laughs> so we have here, would you like to go grab some sushi? Do you like seafood? The 28th could be important for you. Um, they eat very healthy. Also, like, I want to say, like, if um, if they're, fat, like, female energy, they have, like, that hourglass shape, like, very Coke bottle-ish, okay? Um, very, very healthy with food. Um, they're, like, very much about their health cook. Health kick. And they drive a very interesting car, or they Uber a lot, okay? And, yeah, they want to jump up in them. <laughs> they want them bones, baby. The 18th again, okay? They want to get up in that thigh gap, boo. They want to see what it's about, Okay. All right, let's see here. Let's get some initials for you, and then we're going to go into our couples. So we have the initials of I for Ian, or Ian, and then we got a blank. I don't know why, why you do that to me. Another I, so maybe they have two I's and an O. What kind of names are these? I don't know. We got an R and an L. So maybe a Riri or something like that. We also have, um, I want to say Leo's coming very strong, all right? So that's what I have for you. We are going to move into our beautiful couples. All right, all right, let's do our beautiful couples. Let's see what we got going on for you guys. All right, let's see here. What do we have for our couples? What do we have? We have pets could be a significant issue between you guys, not even a bad thing. It could maybe like getting pets together. Um, gambling, that keeps coming out. Like there must be a lot with issues with finances. It doesn't necessarily have to be gambling, but Problems with, with finances, okay? And be careful, somebody's a liar. Well, damn. Maybe they're a fire sign. We don't know. Let's get into it. Let's see what it is. Oh, my vegetables are still cooking. <laughs> they smell so good. I cannot wait to make this soup. Okay. 
What is up with this pet's energy? What is up with this? Uh, they're, they're okay. Maybe they're like, no, I really don't want a pet. This is me. I don't want a dog. I don't want a dog. I'm getting a dog. Anyways, and I'm super excited about it, but like I've always been against it because um, I got really close to my last dog and I, what I love, I love really hard. I just, I wasn't ready. It's taken me 15 years. So maybe <coughs> they're taking a chance and they're telling you, no, I don't really want it, but I do. But then I'm getting this poker face by the gambling and someone could be lying about their finances this month, all right? Twin flames. So I feel like you guys feel very close to each other. And they're lying about their finances. So I do think that there's someone lying about their finances. And with a fire sign, that relationship could be over. It, it's just not working. It's just because there's not enough honesty going on. But there's something about someone uh, maybe exaggerating their finances. That's why you have to check the books, all right? Check the books. Check the accounts. See what's going on. I'm not saying they're stealing from you, but maybe they're making themselves seem like they have more than what they have, all right, Libra? Maybe it's like a Cardi B and Offset situation. <laughs> anyway, he's over there acting like it's his money. It's all hers. Let's see here. What do we got here? We got the Ace of Wands. Your person is excited about this relationship. They love it. And they're very virile, if you know what I mean, okay? They see you or they're thinking of the Queen of Wands, okay? I feel like there's a lot of passion, a lot of excitement in this relationship, they feel, okay, they know you're checking the books. They know that you're checking the finances. They know that you're making sure everything is on the up and up. Libra, you are not playing with this person. You're like, you lie. I'm checking the receipts, baby. They are being a little, they're holding things back. So that, that hermit energy. Maybe they're not sharing with you as much as they used to. I do feel like there's a lot of passion in this relationship. Um, what comes between you is the page of wands. So this could be significant because we have the queen of wands here. So this could be either like, let's say, for instance, they have a child with someone else and the child, there's something with a child or you have children with this person and something, you know, because something with the kids comes through or a new opportunity comes through. OK, it doesn't have to be a negative thing. And then overall, the seven of wands. So you're just like, <laughs> step back away from my money. Like Libra's like, some my money. These are my coins. Big decisions coming through on this relationship, okay? So I kind of feel like in this relationship, this person is super uh, super excited. I'll say gung-ho. Super excited about how things are going. Like, they see you as their, their partner, especially if they're a fire sign. Like, they is feeling you a lot, okay? Ace of Wands, and I have the Knight of Cups. Like, you're like, are you sure about this? Like, and they're like, yeah, I'm sure about you, Okay. And then I have the Knave of Chalices. So there is something going on in the emotion sector. Maybe there's a lot of passion, but not a lot of like, you're not feeling very well connected. I have the Five of Pentacles over the Queen of Wands. You kind of feel like you're being cheated, like financially. There's something about the finances here, okay? Yeah, and they're, they're giving you a lot of like misinformation. A lot of pages are coming out in this read. So far, three pages. So someone needs to be very careful driving. And also, like, you know, there's, an, there's a chance to catch a cold or something, okay? There's four pages. You can also find out about somebody who gets very ill, okay? They see it was the page of swords with the moon. And I kind of feel like... They, you know how he's got that book there? Like, I feel like they are like, what are you... What do you know that you're not telling me? What do you, what do you know? Cause you know something and you're not telling me everything. And Libra's just sitting there like, mm, okay. Okay. But you're healing from something. Okay. There's, there's like, they see you in a very positive light. You've helped them a lot. You've gotten them to this new, new phase in life. Somebody's moving. Also, there could be some couples that are looking at moving. The Hermit with the Ten of Pentacles. There's a possibility of a trip, like a family trip. My nose is itching. These are all those peppers. A family trip possibly coming through. The Page of Wands wants you to know the Four of Cups. I feel like, uh, you know, like he has his little wand here. And he's like, hey, I got a wand for you. And they're like, oh, look what the wand does. And you're like, that's it? That's all? That's all? There's the door. There's the door, bitch. <laughs> Like, you're done. You're just like, no, I don't want that. And then there's the emperor right there. And this emperor is staring like, God, I feel like this emperor knows he messed up. Like, I feel like he knows he messed up. Like, he was just trying to give you enough to get by. And you're like, you think I'm, 
You think Libra was born yesterday? I know it's my birthday, but I was not born yesterday. Seven of Wands with the Six of Cups. So I just kind of feel like um, somebody is like, look, that was the past and this is now. And I'm releasing that. And I'm not saying everybody's going through a breakup. But Libra, you are not playing games with them. Some of y'all are done with it. You're just unentertained by it. You're unentertained by it anymore. And you're making major decisions. And there is a lot of financial issues, financial reasons why you're making them. Judgment with judgment. Wow. Wow. In five of cups, you're just like, you're done with it. You're finished and you're off. Bye. And this is not for all Libras, but like in this situation, if this is like something that you've noticed, there's either going to be someone who gets sick in the family. There's either some, there's like issues with the kids. Finances are all messed up. You don't feel like they're supporting you. You feel like, how could you do this to me? You've strung me along and you're just going to release it. And like I said, this isn't for everybody. This isn't for all all um, Libras, right? Because not everybody's going through a breakup. But I do feel like there was some hidden stuff. And you did a lot of healing, Libra. Maybe you just keep allowing this energy back in or whatever it is. But you are just really healing. Really, really healing from this situation. And you're not going to play games with them. And there's a liar. The boy's a liar, okay? Or the girl's a liar. Because, you know, they can lie too, boo. They can lie too. Let's let's just, like, let's go to this deck right here. What do they need to know about this? About the liar. You're the best thing that ever happened to you. Go easy on yourself. Buy your own darn drinks. Figure it out on your own. I feel like you have been helping this individual... They broke your heart, F them. <clears throat> like I said, that's not for everybody. I just kind of feel like in this situation, they really did you dirty for whoever that was for, right? And you know it's time. You know it's time. You got double judgment. All right, let's get guidance for all you guys. Let's get some oracle messages. What are some messages? Oh, no, wait. Let me get you anything that's being hidden from you and what do they not see coming this month what is something that they need to know what does libra need to know something is over with the grave something that was blocked august 21st could have been very important you're cut if i could get it out you're kind of left at a crossroads okay like you have to make some major decisions you feel like you're being watched like tricked but there is somebody with very beautiful hair. I don't know. That's either you or them. And then here is the man. Or here is your energy. Or whoever's energy. I kind of feel like there was something that was ended. It's been over for a while. You're kind of stuck at a crossroads. But the fox is telling you to go for that beautiful bouquet. Go for what that bouquet represents for you, right? It could be really good. All right. Let's get some guidance. And then we'll go into all signs. All right, we are healing. We're moving forward. We're making things happen. There's the deceit, I'm telling you. Like I said, it's not for everybody, okay? There's a lot of envy. I want to even say that this person, Libra, look. Libra, some of y'all are with people who... They're so jealous of your success, so jealous of how beautiful you are, that they just... They played themselves. There's someone who's going to come through. There's a new investment. There's something about the number 77. You could even be seeing the number 777 a lot. 43, 34, 25. 777 a lot. And that's going to let you know that your guys are trying to tell you, read the fine print. Yeah, there's a deceit. There's a deceit. And people are just jealous because you're going to be happy with or without them. The windows of opportunity are widening open for you. Libra, this is that, I'm telling you, you have that eclipse in your sign, so you're about to see things for, for what they really are. All right? So, part of the read that we go into the all signs. All right? Remember, this is a general reading. All right, let's see here. What do we got going on here? We have justice comes through. You're pulling yourself. You're tired. You're ready to put yourself back out there. You're ready to enjoy life. You're like, look, I've healed. I've done the work. I've, I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I feel good. All right. I feel like my hair is sticking up. I should have brushed it. 
ran to the store in between videos because I needed to get some chicken for my chicken tortilla soup I'm gonna make after this video and then do Aquarius and then go to bed like ah! pack lunches for the kids and all that like all that good stuff okay the 14th okay let's see here here you are as the Empress and Aries is watching you okay they could even work with you or they're watching you work baby because you are all that and they think you have, they have hit the jackpot with you uh, Li uh, Libra Aries is feeling you I think Aries is trying to work up the courage to ask you out or say can we take it to the next level the six could be very important here you are as the three of cups you're very fertile Libra all right and Taurus is the ten of cups this is like a beautiful situation, but y'all are at a major decision. Like, are we going to move forward? Like, what's going on? They see a family. They see love with you. And they're telling you, like, are you going to make your decision or what, Libra? All right, Libra, you are full of passion. You you are so good looking, baby. So good looking. You nutska, baby. And Gemini is, I want to say Gemini is seeing things in a different light right now. And they want to release the past. Um, I also want to say like with the moon, Gemini is feeling very much in their feelings for you. They think you forgot them. <laughs> All right, here you are. Very virile, very strong, baby. Ready to initiate communication and cancer is moving forward. I do feel baby energy here and yeah, lots of baby energy. We have the eight of wands. Things are moving really, really fast. Lots of communication. It's going. It's working. Lucky day the first i better get this out fast um <clears throat> tourists i mean higher fit reversed is how you're kind of feeling you're not really um into non-traditional relationships libra and um leo is tired of waiting and we need to transform here so i feel like you guys could be at a crossroads and trying to figure out what y'all want to do next. The 18th could be important. Here you are as the three of wands reverse. Who is not feeling this situation? And Virgo is not either. And they're being a little bit petty with their words. And the solution is prayer. We got to pray just to make it today. All right. Because I feel like those words and actions is a little fire. Somebody is gaslighting the situation and wearing a mask. Acting like it ain't hurting them. But it hurts. And the 16th is important. Here you are doing your prayers. And Libra, the other Libra, is there There might have been a discussion. We feel like we're at a loss and then we're still praying. So there's a lot of praying going on. Someone could be going through even like family loss right now. Like it doesn't have to be like you guys are fighting. Um, you're ascending, you're learning from this situation and this is about time to heal. So someone could be really going through something personally. It doesn't have to be like cheating or anything. It could be like they lost a family member. Uh, the 11th could be important. Here we are. You feel like um, the Seven of Swords, like you found something out. And Scorpio is like, what? I don't understand. And we are releasing this energy. We are releasing this energy. Here you are as the lovers. You are deep in love. And Sagittarius is not talking. They don't even want to talk anymore. They feel betrayed. Um, or they want to apologize for what they did and you're not here for it. The second could be important. You are all in love, big baby. And Capricorn is into themselves. The, oh, Cap, oh, okay, look. <clears throat> this could be a situation with a Capricorn where Capricorn sees this as a physical relationship and you might be confused. There needs to be clarification in the relationship. The 11th could be important. Here you are as the complete package, the Ten of Pentacles. And Aquarius feels like you are <clears throat> their soulmate, complete soulmate, and they're going to offer their heart and their love to you. They're, this is like a very warm feeling. The 13th could be important. You are not talking. You is not walking. You are not putting up. And Pisces is uh, in their feelings. And the solution is somebody's got to put their big boy pants on and make this communication happen. The fourth could be very important. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. I hope you all have a beautiful month, and I can't wait to see you on Instagram. Take care.